Thank you. Thank you. We sit right here, side by side, and do our thing on the park bench here. Where's your home? Cleveland, Ohio. How many years did you study the classics? Uh, I studied classical piano for about five years. Were there other people in your family with that sort of background? Uh, my father's sister is in the Cleveland Symphony Orchestra. Now, were they, uh, they disillusioned or terribly disappointed when you went into the rock and roll business? Well, in the beginning, they were a little wary about a rock and roll musician for a son, but after a couple of hit records, they got over it. It's taking on a degree of acceptability now. When I first started, it was uh, pretty universally condemned. We were talking about the importance of a record producer, a man that is one of the finest, one of the most prolific writers and producers was here right before you, and I said to Smokey, how do you produce your own record? And he, I guess he can do that now. You have an associate who does it with you. What's his name? Right. His name's Jimmy Einer. What's the importance of a producer? What's he do for you? Well, it's really the most important thing is it's, it's a second set of years. You know, many times uh, artists get so close, especially like myself, I'm writing and arranging and, and doing the whole thing on the creative end, and it's really important to have someone else who can listen and be able to tell you if you get too close to it, you know, what you're doing wrong. Do you feel that it, uh, it makes any difference geographically where you are as to whether you can succeed in the music business? Is Cleveland a music center? Well, it's not in terms, it's, <laughs> right, it's not in terms of media. I mean, uh, the media is obviously in Los Angeles and New York, but um, there's an enormous uh, music scene in Cleveland. There are a lot of great musicians. And uh, what, I, what I really was shooting for, Eric, is I think, in all honesty, whether you come from North Dakota or Wyoming or Alaska or one of the small, unpopulated places, if you've got it and you want to do it, you'll do it no matter where you're from. What's the next song, Carl? Uh, it's called Never Gonna Fall in Love Again. Let's do it. Let me get out of the way. Larry, ladies and gentlemen, Eric Carmen.